Well, it's finally spring and we're having a bunch of kids over to do an egg hunt at our house, but really if you think about it, this is a little bit of an uninspired way to disseminate treats and candies to kids. So today, let's see if we can turn all of this into this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take our leaf blower, just our standard uh, leaf blower here, and let's remove the uh, convergent nozzle here. So I'll just twist that off, and we'll get rid of the nozzle here. Don't need it. I just want a nice hole here, which is uh, uh, around two inches here, okay? So now that I've got this modified, the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a barrel, an extension here to accelerate the eggs. So to do that, we've just got some plain old normal, this is just two inch uh, schedule 40 or PVC pipe. So we're gonna take this part here. You can see at first I've got one which is about just uh, five, six inches here. Let's just plug this into one end of the T. Okay, and then I'll take the other end of the T, which is my longer, this is our barrel here, which is about, you know, three feet or something like that. And this is going to be the barrel of the gun here, or the blaster, and I'm just gonna plug that in the other side of the T. Okay, and there we have it. And now this top part of the T will eventually be the load point for the magazine, but now let's just go ahead and test to make sure that the Schedule 40 fits inside the leaf blower, and there we go. Everything looks to work pretty well. It fits, although it's definitely not a tight, snug seal here. So what we're gonna wanna do is seal this up and wrap this with duct tape here and reinforce the joint to make this thing nice and sturdy, okay? Before we do that then, one thing I might wanna mention here is the design of this is we're gonna have a gravity fed magazine where we're going to load a whole bunch of eggs inside here. So what we're gonna end up doing here is tell you what, let's go ahead and drill a hole a couple of inches down. So let me just test fit this in. Okay, now I'm gonna just drill a hole inside. Okay, and what that hole is gonna allow me to do here is put just a very simple, you know, I'm not doing anything fancy here. I've just got a nail basically here. Um, and this nail, I'm just gonna poke in the hole. And now that's just going to just sit there inside and it's going to block the barrel here so that the eggs can't fall down. And when I want them to eggs to, or I want to start firing the eggs, I'll just pull the nail out and the eggs will fall. So for example, right here's an example of my gravity fed magazine system here. We got the nail in and then the way this is gonna work is we're just gonna take some eggs They'll be loaded in here, and then all we're gonna end up doing here is just pull the nail out. Yeah, and the egg should come down. So the way this is gonna work here is the magazine is gonna be mounted vertically like this. Now, um, we are not gonna want it to be exactly vertical here. Uh, I'm gonna just tilt it a little bit here so that it's a little bit easier to attach because um, we're gonna see later on that when we hang it onto the, uh, to the, to the stand, it's just a little bit easier if this is canted over just a, a touch to the side here. So why don't we get this all set up? This looks pretty good here with a little bit of an angle. So now let's just go ahead and seal this up. And actually to make our life easier, I'm gonna grab my two hose clamps right now and I'm gonna put one end on here, one end on the other side of the barrel. And now let's just go ahead and seal this thing up. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna seal this up. Again, this doesn't have to be straight yet. I'm just trying to make a, a reasonable airtight seal to maximize efficiency. Okay, that's pretty reasonable. Okay, great. So now you can kind of see though, the barrel is totally not uh, sturdy here or aligned very well. So I'm gonna take my two metal rods. These are actually garage door spring winders, but basically these are just metal rods. And now let's just go ahead and use it to sturdy the barrel like such, okay? So it's gonna take a little while and it's a little bit of a pain in the neck, so maybe I'll just pause the video and come back once I actually get these hose clamps tightened on. Okay, so now we've got those on and now you can see this is actually quite good here, right? So now this is, uh, this is nice and sturdy, okay? So the next step here is let's take our magazines here. So I've got two of them. 
of different lengths and therefore different capacities. So this first one is a uh, 13 round magazine or egg magazine. And this one here is actually a 33 egg magazine. So what we need to do here is we need to seal up the top of them. So all we're gonna do here is just, again, uh, down here is the, the pin for our release mechanism. So on the opposite end here, all we're gonna wanna do here is just get some duct tape here and seal up the top here so that we have a good, nice, tight, airtight seal for the system. So maybe it's a little wet, I'll just dry it off a little here and seal it up. Okay, so we've got the magazines all sealed up, so I think it's time to start thinking about mounting this to a stand. So we've just got, uh, I've actually got a bike repair stand here that I'm going to use for this purpose. And what we're going to end up doing here is let's just set it up and raise it up to a good height so that when we sit the egg blaster on top of it, it will be able to maneuver it. So let me just pick this up a little bit here. Let me see, is that able to be... Still kind of seeing what's going on. Yeah, here we go. Okay, maybe I'll go a little bit higher. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, and now that the bike stand's set up, all we're going to do is just get some simple rope here, and we are going to fasten this and hold up this entire assembly so that it can be slung and held underneath the bike stand here. Okay, so it's going to take me a couple minutes to rig this up here, so I'll pause the camera and we'll come back in a second. Okay, so here we are. It's all mounted up, hanging from the bike stand, and I think it's actually quite maneuverable and works, uh, hopefully this will work pretty well. So we've got our 13 egg magazine in there, but uh, the next step here is to go back and uh, fill up our magazine with a bunch of test eggs here. So I'm going to take our, our larger 33 egg magazine and we'll go back and fill it up. One thing that I maybe will mention here is that I've discovered that the dynamic pressure associated with these is pretty uh, extreme when it comes out of the barrel here. So when filling up the eggs, what I recommend doing here is obviously put them together and snap them tight here. But like I mentioned, the aerodynamic forces when it comes out of the barrel are non-trivial here. So I actually end up throwing a little bit of scotch tape on either side of the egg to make sure that it stays together when it comes out here, okay? So let's go ahead and load up a bunch of color-coded test eggs with different varying weights here so we can try to understand the relationship between the weight of the egg and the range of the, uh, the egg blaster. So here's a schematic of the egg blaster. The idea is that when you turn on the leaf blower, it will accelerate the air down the barrel and it'll just shoot out the eggs as they drop from the magazine. Now, the first eight rounds or the first eight eggs are all yellow and they're actually just empty here. Uh, and each egg by itself weighs about three grams per egg. The next eight rounds are all blue in color and I filled them with gummy bears so that each uh, round weighs around seven grams. The next eight rounds are green eggs, and I filled them with a boatload of M&Ms so that each egg weighs 11 grams. So we're getting a little bit heavier as we uh, continue exhausting the magazine. The last four kind of normal candy-filled rounds are all orange in color, and they're filled with Hershey Kisses to weigh around 11.7 grams per round. And as a final last sort of uh, benchmark or end of the spectrum here, I put a single purple egg that I just filled with rocks um, because actually I was all out of uh, shrapnel and nails, so I guess I just grabbed some rocks from the driveway and shoved it in there. So that last egg is a honking 37 grams here, so much heavier than the rest of them. So the idea now is let's go load up this magazine with this color-coded egg structure into the blaster and uh, see how the range varies with distance. Okay, so we've got our 33 egg magazine all loaded up according to the color conventions that we just discussed here. So again, the lightest eggs should be coming out first. I believe those were the yellow ones that were completely empty. And the very last one is a single purple round that is uh, quite heavy and filled with rocks here. So hopefully we'll just go ahead and run through the different colors here and see how this goes. And while we're at it, tell you what, let's start a timer here so we can try to get an estimate of the, uh, the rate of fire of this thing. Okay. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna just load up the magazine now. Okay, all right, we're loaded up. And we're gonna start up the leaf blower here and I'll aim it out. And then I will just go ahead and pull the plug and we'll see how this goes. Okay, uh, all right, here we go. All right, uh, I think that worked pretty well here. So I'll tell you what, let's go take a look at uh, what happened. 
Okay, so if we kind of walk off and uh, take a look at what's going on, <laughs> you'll see actually, um, they <laughs> these things didn't survive too well at all here. I've started a tape measure here, so you got to add 20 feet to this here, so we can see here. So I'm not seeing a real clear trend in distance and uh, weight of the eggs. You can kind of see we got multicolored splatters all over. Of course, this was not a very scientific test here. So here is the uh, let's see, it's 25 feet on the tape measure. You got to add 20, so this is about 45. So I would say 45, 50-ish feet is about the range here. But again, look at this. Even with the tape. Half of these things split open. Oh, there's one that's actually, there's a few that are intact here. Yeah, I don't know here. Well, actually, but well, I take that back. Look at this. Here's here's a bunch of orange ones that went significantly further here. So I think orange, those were our, were, were those the really heavy ones? Let me, let me break one of these open. Yeah. Okay, so those were the really heavy ones. So actually, uh, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe heavier is better here. So if I want to tune the, uh, the range of this egg blaster here, we'll just uh, have to play with the, the weight. Um, one thing I will mention, you'll notice here that silly uh, purple super heavy egg actually misfired. It didn't fire out of the uh, egg blaster because it got stuck to the duct tape here, but whatever. Let's go back and see if we can get a uh, rate of fire calculation out of this.